Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, great to have you with us again for our noontime devotion. I'm Wayne. I'm from Coldwell First Methodist Church. So it's, it's not a good feeling when you go to pick up some bulky or heavy item and you suddenly realize that you have overestimated your strength. And now you're in the place where you are faced with the decision of, do I just drop it? Or do I try to figure out a, another plan quickly in the midst of this? I recently had that when I was working with a big sheet of plywood. I pulled it out of the van and was about to set it on the saw horses and realized about, uh, well, within a few feet of the saw horses that I had a problem in trying to put it down. I'm living in that phase of life called, I'm not what I used to could. I figured out a way, I put it down, but I had to realize that my strength is not what it once was. We do have to recognize our strength and our weakness physically as we go through time. As a child, you get stronger, uh, and at some point in adulthood, it starts to reverse itself. So it's something that we have to weigh and assess in, in our lives all the time. But that's not just a physical question. Uh, it's a question of when we feel weak in dealing with life. So I, I know some people are struggling with that. You may have elements of that popping up every now and then. You, you feel weak. You feel vulnerable in this time. And that's, that's a natural thing. That's, that's what we're struggling with with this uh, disease. And even though there's some positive signs, there's always still that little niggling fear in the back of our mind as to how is this going to affect us and how do we deal with this. So when we're weak, um, we call upon God. Uh, Isaiah 40, 29 says this, He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. You may have found yourself praying, Lord, I need an increase. I need an increase in power and strength. So we want to claim verses like that. We want to ask God to shore us up. But there's a bit more to that verse than just saying, God, um, I need more strength. <clears throat> when, when we recognize God's strength, and in order for us to be blessed by God's strength, it's difficult for that to happen if we're all wrapped up in our own strength, if we're celebrating our own strength, if we're admiring our own strength, if we're stubbornly sticking by our own strength. I think this is, this is a struggle for all of us at all points in life. Um, it's how much do we honor and celebrate our own strength and then ask God to put a bit more on top of that. Because that's not how God works. I've had to say that a few times in my own life. And I hope you're saying it in yours. That's not always how God works. So how does God work? Well, Scripture's pretty clear. God can help us be strong when we recognize our own weaknesses. And we admit our complete dependence on God. It's both things. It's admitting that we need more strength, but it's also admitting that we are completely reliant on God. Paul says that in 2 Corinthians 12. That's why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For I am weak. Sorry, for when I am weak, then I am strong. When I am weak, then I am strong. He's admitting. God, I am totally dependent on you because you can work most effectively in me when I not only admit that I don't have the strength, but I also admit I am totally dependent on you. So, during the course of these next few days, try that. Try speaking to God about your total dependence on Him. Make a more submissive life in God by admitting you are totally dependent on Him. Not just that you're weak, but that you're dependent on Him. We're going to lift up teachers today in our prayer focus uh, because it's te Teacher Recognition Week and what an awesome job they are doing fighting all kinds of different odds and really having to, to uh, figure out a way to do their job and to answer to their duties in, in a very kind of restrained setting compared to, to the classroom. So let's pray. 
God, we do, uh, we want to pray for our own selves uh, as we admit our complete dependence on you. We admit, God, that we need your strength, but we also want to submit and say, God, you are the ruler of my life. You are the one on whom I depend. This week, we do lift up our teachers as we pray for others. We pray for them that they would continue to have uh, the energy and the stamina that they need to see out this year. These times have been difficult and stressful for them. We thank you for what they give up above and beyond what they are called to do. We pray, God, that they would have a sense of your uh, immediacy in their life, a sense of your dependability. But we would also ask that in their own lives, they would be able to say, God, I am completely dependent on you. These things we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Friends, I'll look forward to visiting with you tomorrow when we'll have another devotion at noon. God bless you.